Burmella cat versus Abyssinian cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The friendly and charming Burmilla is a very calm cat that is simple to get along with and requires little maintenance. Burmillas are medium-sized cats that are stocky and hefty. This breed is fairly small, yet it is highly muscular and has substantial boning. The Burmilla was created by chance. A chinchilla Persian male and a lilac Burmese female mated in 1981, and the female gave birth to four kittens. These kittens had an unusual black-tipped coloring. The look of these cats was so attractive that a breeding program was inaugurated to produce a cat that would have the short hair of the Burmese, the roundness taken from both breeds, and the unusual coloring seen in the initial kittens. The Burmilla is rarely seen. In Britain, it is still an experimental breed, and it is not yet accepted by the major registries in the United States. These cats' existence is a stroke of pure luck. The chinchilla Persian who fathered the Burmilla breed was scheduled to be neutered just before unexpectedly mating with the Burmese mama cat. Showing cats were all the rage in the late Victorian era. One of the unusual breeds exhibited at the Crystal Palace Cat Show in 1871 was an Abyssinian, captured in the late Abyssinian War, who took third place. The report on the Cat Show, published on January 27, 1872, issue of Harper's Weekly, was the first known mention in print of the breed. Unfortunately, no records exist regarding the cat's origins, although myths and speculation abound, including claims that it was the cat of the pharaohs, and that it was created in Britain by crossing silver and brown tabbies with cats that had tick coats. Today, genetic evidence suggests that the cats came from Indian Ocean coastal regions and parts of Southeast Asia. British and Dutch traders may well have brought the cats from ports such as Calcutta, India, or the islands of Indonesia. A taxidermied specimen of a ruddy ticked cat exhibited in the 1830s at the Leiden Zoological Museum in the Netherlands, where he was labeled Patri Domestica India, gives credence to that theory. The cats were probably given the name Abyssinian because Zula, the cat exhibited at the Crystal Palace, was said to have been imported from Abyssinia, now Ethiopia. Early pedigrees show crosses to non-Abyssinian cats, which may explain the introduction of new coat colors and the gene for long hair. American cat fanciers originally imported some Abyssinians in 1900, but Abyssinian breeding programs didn't really get off the ground in the United States until the 1930s, when additional cats were brought from Britain. It's a good thing that many cats were transferred to the United States because World War II decimated the breed. By the conclusion of the war, just a dozen of the cats remained in England. However, the breed recovered and is again one of the most popular cat breeds. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The Burmilla brings together aspects of the Burmese and the Persian into one sweet, friendly package. He is quietly affectionate and gentle but more extroverted than the typical Persian. He is adventurous but a bit of a klutz, so put away breakables when he is around. Burmillas remain playful into adulthood. They love their people, but they aren't excessively demanding of attention. When a lap is available, though, the Burmilla is there. Of all the cat breeds, the Abyssinian is perhaps the one who lives life to the fullest. He climbs higher, jumps farther, plays harder. Nothing escapes the notice of this highly intelligent and inquisitive cat, a quality that makes life with him both endlessly entertaining and continuously challenging. You never know what he'll get into next, although you can assume that if you have something or are doing something, your abai will want to investigate it closely. Some people refer to the cats as abai grabby because of their propensity for taking things that catch their interest. Sometimes it may seem as if the abai never sleeps. He is ever in motion, jumping up in the window to look at birds or squirrels, leaping on top of the refrigerator to supervise meal preparation, perching on your desk to watch your fingers move over the keyboard, and then swiping at them so you'll pay attention to him instead. This is a playful, persistent cat who adores being the center of attention and will do anything to achieve and maintain that status. The Abai loves to play, so plans on making or purchasing a variety of toys to keep him occupied. Ping pong balls, bottle caps, wadded up pieces of paper, puzzle toys, and teasers such as big peacock feathers will all amuse this busy and brainy cat. Teach him to retrieve at your peril. Once you start, he won't let you stop. He learns tricks quickly and many abais enjoy running a feline agility course. A love of heights is a signal trait of the Abyssinian. He likes to be as high up as possible and will appreciate having one or more ceiling height cat trees. When those aren't available, he is perfectly capable of making his way to the uppermost point of any room. Fortunately, he is naturally graceful and rarely breaks items unless it is simply out of curiosity. 
Abais are adaptable throughout their lives and fit well into any home where they are loved and given plenty of attention. In a home where people are at work or school during the day, the Abai is best with a companion, ideally another Abai, who can match his activity level. If left to his own devices, the Abai may well dismantle the house in his search for something interesting to do. Beware. The Abai can be addictive. Once you've had one, you may find that no other cat will do. The Burmill is short. Smooth coat is simple to groom with weekly brushing or combing to remove dead hairs. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush or comb a long-haired Burmilla two or three times a week. The short, fine coat of the Abyssinian is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath when the cat is shedding will help to remove excess hair more quickly. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a dirty box may cause them to start using other places in the house instead. It's a good idea to keep them as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The gentle and playful Burmilla is well suited to life with families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He can learn tricks, enjoys interactive toys, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. Supervise young children and show them how to pet the cat nicely. Instead of holding or carrying the cat, have them sit on the floor and pet him. The active and social Abyssinian is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He's smart enough to get out of the way of toddlers but loves school-age children because they are a match for his energy level and curiosity. Nothing scares him, certainly not dogs, and he will happily make friends with them if they don't give him any trouble. Abais have also been known to get along with large parrots, ferrets, and other animals. Always introduce any pets, even other cats, slowly and in a controlled setting. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.